What you just witnessed was a compilation of videos that demonstrate an object that remains still even though the cloth was pulled from underneath it. And some of you might be asking, how? Great question. This is due to inertia. Hi, my name is Emil. I'm the group leader of The Atoms. My teammates are Hidayat, Danish, Adam, and Adam. Alright, first of all, what is inertia? Well, inertia comes from the Latin word inerse, meaning idle. Newton's first law states that if a body is at rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line, it will remain at rest or keep moving unless it is acted upon by an external force. Inertia is the resistance of any physical object to a change in its velocity. Inertia can be said as pretty much the stubbornness of an object to either move or stop. So, how do we calculate inertia? Pretty simple. Inertia is equal to L over W, with L being angular momentum and W representing angular velocity. Inertia can be demonstrated with this simple experiment. It is so simple in fact that all you need is a piece of cardboard, a coin, and a beaker. Simply place the cardboard on the beaker. Then put the coin on top of it. Now, what you're going to do is push the cardboard as fast as you can without touching the beaker or the coin. Let's see what happens. Now, even when the piece of cardboard is pushed away, the coin falls into the beaker. The inertia of the coin makes it so that the coin will remain idle in its current position even though the cardboard changed velocity. This demonstrates the stubbornness of a physical object. And some objects are even more stubborn than others, like people. <clears throat> this is because the inertia of an object depends on its mass. The larger the mass of a physical object, the larger the inertia of the object, as shown by this experiment. Now with this, we can easily conclude that the object with the higher mass, meaning a higher inertia, will oscillate longer which shows that the heavier the object is, the harder it is to move and stop. Another interesting example of inertia is that in space, if an object with mass is in motion, it will remain in motion at a uniform speed for an infinitely long amount of time until acted upon by external force. But you know, we are so confident in Newton's first law that we decided to raise the stakes a little. Now remember, an object at rest will remain at rest. Now, similar to the coin experiment, the objects on the table did not follow suit when the cloth was pulled. The objects on the table had a combined weight higher than the coin, which gave us more confidence to place the easily breakable precious iPhone on the table. So, what are the examples of inertia in everyday life? Very simple. Now, think back. Have you ever gone on a train before? Well, if you have, you might take note that as the train moves, our body's inertia will try to remain still, which results in us feeling like we're tripping every time the train starts to move. Other than that, inertia can be seen everywhere in daily life, from riding a car to trying to slow yourself down from running into a brick wall. Now how about this? Did you know that in a space station, because there's no gravity, inertia can also be used to measure mass? It's true. Astronauts actually use a special type of inertial balance. They calculate the periods of oscillation in themselves to determine their own weight. 
and that will conclude the end of this video. We hope that we were able to properly explain the law of inertia and demonstrate some examples of it. If you want to learn more about inertia, try doing some research on your own. Thank you very much for watching.